welcome all of you to our channel and how are you guys and today i will tell you the story of a serial killer who did more than 50 murders then without any delay let's go straight to the story in america a series of murders started in the street and parts of alabama in the 70s which is very shocking was during this time most of the people who were being murdered were black or jewish this name of the killer who carried out this murders was joseph franklin serial killer joseph franklin brutally murdered blacks and jews the murder murderer joseph was sentenced sentences to death six times for the crimes on august 7 1977 joseph franklin brutally murdered a couple joking in the parking lot of east town mall vixen usa the girl name was tiny stein while the boy name was alpos mine The joking couple had no idea what was going to be happen to them but suddenly a gunshot is heard and there is silence Joseph Franklin killed many people after the murder of Tony and Alfonso The police were still looking for the unknown serial killer but still their hand were empty On October 8 1977 the police received information that a group had been shoot at the Israel church in the city of Missouri In this firing incident 42 year old Gorland Garden died while Stephen Goldsman and William Ash were injured there was a shootout from the buses on the church the people which over there police that someone had fired from the tell the police that someone had fired from the buses near the church but the police were still unaware of the attackers and his motive this period of panic on the street of American lasted till 1980s all thought the police understood the people who died were victims of caste violence and the murderer hated their caste or creed on may 29 1980 warden jordan a black human rights activist and president of the urban league was shot in indiana in which he was injured the serial killer attacked her because she was accompanied by a white woman he was seriously injured in the attack and the murderer fell but he left his car there police recovered enough evidence from the car of killer joseph franklin to suggest that the man was linked to murder that were part of racism police recovered mysterious racist tattoo and blood bank slip from the car where he used to go police issued an alert in blood banks across the country In October 1980, a Florida blood bank employee noticed a tattoo issued by the police after which he contact, contacted the FBI. After this, the police arrested the killer Joseph Franklin from Lakeland on 28 October 1980. During the interrogation of the police, Joseph made shocking revelation. He told that he hated blacks and Jews. Whenever he saw a black or Jew with a white American, his blood would boil and he would put them to death. He told that he was born in a poor family and suffered severe physical abuse as a child. During police interrogation, the killer revealed that early in the high school he first became interested in Christianity, then Nazism, and later became a member of the National Socialist White People Party. In the 1960s, after reading Triumph in Hitler political manifesto, Franklin became racist and waged a war against Jews and blacks. He wanted to purify the world from such people. Franklin used to collect money by robbing banks and selling his blood in the blood bank. The court convicted Joseph Franklin of multiple murders and sentenced him to life imprisonment six times as well as to death. He was put to death in prison on November 20, 2013 by a lethal injection. So, this is the end of our today's story. If you like our video, please like it. If you like our videos then subscribe our channel and please share this video we will come up with again a new video till then take care about yourself and your family thank you